So now, um, well, what's my visa is DM. Yeah, this has officially become like a DM house item, so maybe it's not a bonus action. Who knows? So you see um, the uh, the smoldering bodies of uh, of the cultists uh, hit the ground, and, and um, you see a pool of water uh, start forming underneath the um, who, the who looks to be the leader. Was he melting as well? <laughs> Did he get hit by the uh, cone? Uh, he did. did you say oh, okay. He did get hit by it. Um, so was that my entire action? That was your entire action. Drinking the potion was action, and then... Um, sure. Well, like, he drank the potion beforehand because he can keep it for an hour. It's it's You can use it up three times. It's, it oh, okay. ends in an oh, hour awesome. or after three Oh, uses. you already drank the potion. Okay, so no, yeah, you, drank you, still have, uh, you still have your regular action. And okay. Regular. I'll move here and hit the purple dudes. Okay. Uh, were you smiting? Oh, no, that's a 21 for 12 damage. And uh, you, as you strike out with your sword, you lop off this, this uh, cultist's head. All right, next up. We have the green cultists. So Does the um, fire potion have any more charges, or is it just one off? You have three charges. Yes, you used one, just two. Was it all, do, do I have to take an action to keep swigging from it, or did I just take the whole thing? So I can... Uh, no, no you, don't have to, you don't have to keep swigging from it. You drank the whole potion. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the green cultists, it is their turn. And uh, they're going to start surrounding the person that, that walked into the room. Actually, uh, two of them are actually going to uh, try to block off you from. Oh my god! From their, um, yeah, I'm doing them in, in squadrons. Yeah. There's a lot of cultists there. Yeah, I just get. I'm fucking surrounded. So what's your AC? Uh, 18. So you get hit for six damage. The cult, this cult is in front of you, swings, and uh, he finds a chink in your armor on the right side, and this one behind you also swings at you, uh, in the leg, and. Um, since you you just got hit by the air, you weren't watching, and uh, he finds a weak spot in your uh, right behind your knee, and you take six damage. That's right, six damage. Yeah, and they say you you will die just like everybody in your beloved built village. Next up, we have. Red cultists. So, um, Red cultists. this one's going to move here, and then this one is going to move here. And you're now surrounded. I am. And they are going to make attacks against you. Please don't. <laughs> Alright, so... This one... Um, right there, lands what looks to be, what looks like it's going to be a devastating attack. He hits you right in the stomach, and um, it hits you for, and it, 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 he doesn't go deep since you have the, the nice padding of leather underneath, but then he twists the blade for another three damage. And uh, so you take five damage from uh, from the cultist in front of you. How was that crit? Yeah. How mean. So was that six damage you took, or eight, or...? Uh, you took five. Five, okay. Yes. So he wasn't listening? Uh, next up we have Matik. Okay, uh, important question here is, can I occupy this square? You can occupy that square. It is, uh, ankle deep water at that point. Okay. Is so it extra movement to go through it? Just as a question. It, the water. It is difficult terrain. Okay, cool. I'm only moving one square, so irrelevant for me, but yeah. potentially relevant for others. Okay, so, uh, Rage, get, getting that out of the way right now. Okay. And charging in and hacking at the occultist immediately in front of me. Okay, roll. 
If this is the rest of the dungeon, can you take off the lighting? Because I can't see anything behind me. Oh, okay. Or if, the, if, this is, if there's more, then... No, it's not. One sec, let me go to dynamic lighting. Oh! <laughs> that that range. Range. And we are that not. Range. As you um, oh, let me let me turn off the name of playing real quick. Yeah, Sparkle Jones, the only person in sword range. If I hit someone other than me, are you sure it was? Are you sure it wasn't a blast? Oh no, it's already. Are you sure it wasn't like a rage die or something? All right. See, how the fuck do you get eight on a attack where you roll a one? So that's a plus whole, seven. You can see the whole dungeon now, right? Uh, yes, we can. Okay. So, um... Wait, can I get a... You, like, how, would you, how would you get the one is at the end? Do you still have a bless? Oh, yeah, which I don't have, do I? Yeah, well, it, de it depends. Did you um, use all your blesses? Well, it's one minute bless, isn't it? Yeah, and but it's also pass. it's also concentration. You okay, never mind. Uh, so, uh, you swing right over the first cultist head in a blinding rage. You don't, like, you just swing blindly at him. It clearly misses. Uh, and, um... I want you to make an attack roll against Lily. No, it's not a crit fail. It's not a crit yep. fail. It was a two. It was a two? It was a two. Uh, the one was from was the bless. One. Yeah, it was yeah, one again, the bless the died. End. Oh, uh, okay, cool. Yeah, I understand. No yeah, fucking way to get plus seven on a, like, you know, at this level. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, if it was right. actually a crit fail, that would have been like a two or a three. All right, so uh, you just miss. You, it goes, you, you're, you're enraged, and just, you, you attack, and you, you're not concentrating. It flies right over its head, right over the uh, cultist's head. Next up, we have the orange cultists, and um, why can't I? Am I other than... Uh, there we go. And uh, they're just going to move up and position themselves um, in front of you. Uh, just to block the doorway a little bit better. Uh, conveniently, probably to get obliterated by Mathibus's next blast uh, weapon. Um, <laughs> next up, we have uh, Jean Saint Florent with his very poor. He just, he just wasn't ready for this battle. <laughs> um, I, I, even though we, I knew exactly when the door was open, I was totally surprised when the door opened. Yeah. Um, I, there's no way for me to move through enemy squares, right? No. Uh, you could do. I would let you maybe do some, if you roll a good acrobatics check. Um, well, as long as he doesn't end off, his turn in a square we occupy, he's fine, right? Jump off, um, like... If it's, like, crowded, mm -hmm. it might, you know... Not, not, not enemy squares. You can move through ally squares, but not enemy squares. Um, as far as... Because, like, half lanes specifically can move through enemy squares, if that, and that's fine. Yeah, yeah the, the door... It's too crowded. Matik would have to uh, kill somebody and then take take that person's spot for you to uh, get in get in there to help Mathurdis. Well, I mean, yeah. if I killed someone and didn't move forward, he could, he could take the spot of the killed person. Yeah, yeah. Well, what I'm asking is, can you occupy a square with one of us and then uh, make an attack and then move forward if you kill the guy or backwards if you don't? Yeah, you can. I think you just can't end your turn in that square. So yeah, you could definitely probably move into Lily's square. <laughs> definitely, <Yeah>. probably. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, you can... Yeah, you can move into Lily Square, make your attack, and then leave the square. Um, and can I do a combo technique with Phelan and grab onto the broom? Because I'm pretty sure together we're not 400 pounds. No, okay. Uh, and hitch a ride over and dive bomb one of these cultists. You could probably <laughs> it was do that. Yes. Funny because Lily was going to do the same thing. Are you going to delay your turn? Um, you guys well, can both do it, I guess. Can, can well, well, Lily get on too, like between the three of us, because she's tiny. If you use your action, you I can only like, weigh thirty-seven pounds. pounds. Yeah. They are the next three. The three of them are in order in the initiative order to do that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm failing next. <laughs> um, I was gonna say that if like we're gonna do this by rules, like I would go probably move between beside Phelan and get on the broom, whatever with whatever movement I have, and then ready in action to die bomb a cultist when I feel like it. Which I'm cool with. Okay. This is going to be the most awesome thing ever. <laughs> oh god, I hope so. <laughs> and before crit fails everywhere, and then uh, you land at the lava. Hey, hey, same team. <laughs> I'm just saying. I can't be knocked off my broom. I can't be knocked right, off my broom. So, are you going on the broom? Yeah, well, there's other people can. 
All right, and then... Uh, Hell yeah, I'm going on the broom. Phelan, are you going to grab Lily and then take her with you? Because grabbing her would be your action. No, I was going to use no. just the movement to like get down where she can jump on herself and use her turn, her movement Okay, yeah, that. I'll let her use a free action to interact with object and then jump on the, the broom. Yep. Cool. Okay, uh, so you're jumping on, uh, Alex? Yes. Yes, right. I am. Yep. Okay, so... That we'd like... All right. <laughs> this, is <the> thing. <laughs> this is the most coolest thing ever. This will be the best heroic entrance ever. Uh, okay, so have the broom. Surf on three people on it, racing over the cultist heads over the other side. Dun, 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 dun. And where are you going to jump off, John, <laughs> in the middle of this? Probably around here. Uh, I'm going to do the legal action and jump off. Can I jump off here? Can I stand in this square? Or do I have to jump off here? Uh, you can't stand it. You can stand it. You can stand in that square. Okay, because yeah. I'm assuming that Phelan's gonna pass over here, so this isn't that crazy of a leap. Okay. <clears throat> okay, and then as I jump down, I'm gonna punch this cultist in the head. I prefer you weren't there. Me? Actually, wait, no. no. Never mind. You're fine. Okay. Yeah. Go. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna punch this cultist in the head. Punch him. Uh, weapons and punch it. Are you jumping down uh, from the... Do you want to land? try to land on him and mitigate your fall damage? I would take... Like, as the broom's flying over. Oh, yeah, I guess I guess I would have to do that. Yeah, I will totally dive bomb him and try to jump on... Like, I will drop kick him from this broom. Okay, roll an acrobatics check. How many feet were you in the air? <laughs> I have... I'm failing to answer that question. Uh, it would just be... Over people's heads, basically. So it would be 15 feet in the air. Okay, uh, I, I rolled an 18. So, okay, yeah, I'm going to say that you successfully mitigate your fall damage, but uh, I'm going to roll a reflex save for this cultist. Yep. And, um... And he makes three six reflex saves, so I'm going to have him take half damage from your fall. And, uh, he takes... You land on him, and, um, he looks like he starts... He, he he kind of you break his arm you break his right arm cool uh, so uh, but he, he survives uh, is the is it just the f so I'm just taking the action to a fall and I don't get and the uh, no attack is that what's happening yeah okay sounds good I would, I would say that your action would be to dive bomb him yeah that's cool I can I can totally deal with that all right but he does look really hurt all right next up we have Lily. Or Phelan, sorry. <laughs> Alright, so once we're on the other side, uh, she's going to try to maneuver the broom, just sort of be like slightly under the mare so she can grab him and like kind of pull him over the, uh, over over it. So he's kind of like. He, um, it looks like, um, that his, although he's being, he's floating in the air, his, his like, uh, as you're behind him now, you notice that, uh, his ankle is chained to, uh, his ankles are chained from behind. Oh, to the uh, to the platform. Hmm. Okay. Then... Can she at least bring him upward out of the heat? Uh, yeah, she can. Yeah, then she try to at least lift him away and ang like angrily point at the main warlock guy. I'm like you who would make a you would make a deal with the devil and cause some such pain to innocent lives. Halt your wicked ways and surrender in the name of justice. And if she can, she try to like. Fire another Eldritch Blast at him. Alright. Make the attack roll. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> that is a miss. Uh, he uh, looks at you as your blast misses and he says, You will all burn just like your beloved village. And then uh, next we have Lily. Kick his ass. Okay, so where I place my token is where I want to jump off the broom to. And as I'm falling, I want to hit the guy, or at least take a swing at him with the thorn whip and try to pull him into his altar. Okay. And, uh, okay, so uh, you your thorn whip um, burns up from the altar before it reaches him. Oh, did you cast it twice? I'm gonna. I'm taking the first. I didn't tackle. mean to. Okay. I'm yeah, I didn't it. mean to cast it twice. Okay. So next up, we have the cultist, and he 
is going to point at Phelan 